Hey, welcome back to new video, guys. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 or the X3 NFC custom ROM reviews. Back with Evolution X here. You guys can see the version 8.3 Ballot. This is the latest version with February 5, 2024 security patch. Kernel user is 4.14.328. Lineage OS kernel has been used. Build maintainer has been given. Build date is February 7th. Latest build this is. And if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below, guys, and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like, guys. Uh, this is the quick settings toggles what we get in the edit section. You also get some other options. And smoothness, I really felt very, very smooth here in the quick settings toggles. It is really smooth in my opinion, guys. And this are the typical home screen you get, and this is the app drawer and apps arranger and what all the apps I'm using. And directly here we go to settings here and press and hold here. You get widgets, wallpaper and style, and home settings, notification dots, you need to enable here. Do not disturb flash notifications are also there. Preview, you guys can see again. Even this notification, this you can select the color from here and notification log you can check out from here allow face unlock on lock screen other things you guys can see and ambient display will work like this as you can see that's fine actually and i am using this agc camera here as you guys can see guys this is a agc camera i made a dedicated video on that uh, check out my channel you won't get any pre-installed camera here not even a basic camera hence i install this agc camera here and regarding dialer you get basic google dialer and also direct video call feature is available here and even the call recording feature will be available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call but there is one more thing this one basic call recording just enable this and while using the app allow and now you can even select the output directory template and retention from here not just that you can even select the output format as you can see on the screen guys you can select actually the format what you want and bitrate up to 48 kbps it's fine for call recording sample rate up to 48,000 hertz this is a frequency yeah this is how the call recording and dialer what you get basic apps like fm radio and all are working fine here contacts file manager is for some reason it was uh, hidden the different file manager i have used here my files from google play store guys now we'll see some uh, results before that we also get uh, some of the apps are pre-installed here podcast and all and you can uninstall them and you get this papers here this is like kind of themes kind of things simple but useful if you want to change any uh, pre-installed wallpaper from here you can do that actually yeah for example let me check out this one it looks a little bit uh, better here yeah download them hello and yeah this these are some pre-installed wallpapers here download complete how to change the wallpaper yeah this is lock screen customizations again you get this is the android 14 customizations what we can see in the more on device wallpapers no just not downloaded that anyhow uh, using this you can actually do that file manager all no here also it's not downloaded from where we can upload this one i don't understand yeah, we can download and uh, set it as a wallpaper but it's a handy feature that's it guys regarding that we'll show some results here quickly uh, this is the antidote benchmark results 3,84,887 and temperature raised was 3.4 degrees celsius and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and this is the version of antidote what i used and this is the Geekbench 6 score, 752 is the single score, 1872 is the multi score and links 4.14.328 based on Android 14 this is and this is internet speed using Wi-Fi you guys can see I think so yeah this is with LTE I mean Geo 4G what I got 16 MPS and this is wide one level 1 certification it is done here and HDR support is also there here Surya you guys can see 
and this is cpu uh, sorry safety and status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay PayTM, whatever you want to use you can use that and this is the sequential read write and random read write and memory copy test here this is with numericals and this is charging rapidly during the time 4 7 am it was around 36 percent it was actually showing charging rapidly uh, during 4 35 the charging went to 66 percent you will get the idea i used the 33 watt charging support here in this particular room you get some basic idea here how is the charging speed apart from that everything is fine here as you can see smoothness in the ui is really really fast as you can see it is actually fast here i have to check the uh, ram management if i can and to do yeah it's get reloading anyhow you guys can see no it's in the memory actually yeah that's cool and oh, there are some new changes into the ui i will be discussing that if you go into evolver again in the miscellaneous as you can see show cpu information that you will get it allow applications downgrade that you can do actually and alarm blocker wave sorry wake clock blocker and usb configuration you can choose from here uh, sometimes it will not pop up you can directly go and select here once you connect any otgr you directly connect to pc or like that you can actually use those information and where are some other options here you get unlimited photo storage and unlimited sorry unlock ifs and games let's see that very soon the bgma gameplay how it handles here and regarding buttons again it remains same here nothing more here uh, lock screen again it remains very similar to what we get in the previous versions gestures again nothing new yeah into system settings i need to check this one so i have to screenshot that's fine uh, power menu again advanced restart button if you want that you can enable actually and this is the volume panel what we get here and this how it looks like and you also get this quick settings toggles and customizations here as you can see battery style you get plenty here similarly we get notifications notification light key lab button status bar again you get plenty here also you get battery styles and battery bar if enable that you get plenty of options again this remains very similar status bar icons and colored icons if you want you can enable that and show 4g lte this is little bit added new thing here and regarding themes again theming settings you can do here you can even select the dark theme here let me check out it takes some time always yeah and you can choose here vivid to make it pitch black condition as you can see guys now it's in pitch black condition which i really required in required in any of the custom roms that should be present in my opinion navigation bar style you can select here and signal icon dot icon icon shape everything you can customize from here and regarding the actual settings again battery here new thing is uh, battery usage you can see here how the battery life and what all the apps i used but just not that is over here battery saver again extreme battery saver is added here as you can see that was not present in some of the smartphones actually with this particular update also there was no extreme battery saver that is present here that's the good thing here and battery stats you can see how much milliamp hour is used for particular app during that time you can actually check out here that's cool in my opinion battery charge warning is also there you can enable that you can choose the uh, this one ringtone and even the percentage you can so select that based upon that you will get the warning here sleep mode is there again these things you can turn off and ringer mode again if you want to make it silent during that sleep mode you can do that uh, battery temperature you can see battery optimization are available here this how uh, this battery stats has been improved a lot in my opinion in evolution x now and sound and vibration again it remains very similar you get this all options here here patterns are given here regarding vibration and haptics you get all these options guys no need to worry regarding the actual basic settings here everything is working fine here even display size and text keep it little bit bigger guys uh, because this quick settings toggles are a little bit smaller before that now it is bigger and easy to see and smart pixels are given here once you use that uh, the display brightness will be reduced 
and burn in protection is also there i mean uh, it's kind of like uh, prevents invalid devices but it's okay you can use here also and low power maximum minimum keep it everything 120 guys 120 hertz then it will be speedy the ui is fast enough and accessible tag and i keep on telling them without actually using the physical volume buttons you can actually access the volume up and down from here that's a handy feature you should definitely write out in this kind of aosp roms here digital well-being again it's done here into system you won't get any updater and navigation mode again gesture navigation you will get option to increase the pill length and pill radius from here that's a good thing that's the required thing for me always and that's it these are the settings what we get and the customization and the ui is really really smooth i haven't faced any issues no call drop or anything like that even while using headphones like this uh, with 3.5 mm headphone jack i haven't faced any issues in this poco x after installing this uh, evolution x latest update with february security patch 2024 guys we'll see the bgma and the end of this video and as i said you need to enable the high graphic sounds here as you can see sorry graphic settings smooth plus 90 fps option has been enabled even hdr no hd extreme no only smooth extreme sorry 90 fps options are enabled here utilize the same guys and let's see how it handles here and the internet connection i am getting 20 ms ping here based on my airtel fiber net it also depends guys internet connection is also a, a very important thing in these kind of games see there was little bit of lag for me have you noticed or not yeah. even in counter attacks it wasn't a lag but before that i faced some lag maybe It is fine actually. I was seeing on the screen, but meanwhile, I got a hit from a sniper. Anyhow, uh, the experience in this particular UI has been good from long couple of updates, and it's been improved every update here. And this update, I really like this, guys. No issues from my side, at least. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, you can ask me in the comment section actually. The smoothness, if you use even uh, gyroscope, it will be even better in my opinion. Yeah target was locked there i will come back here this is the experience here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see that glittering wobbling effect is still available and face unlock again where were the apps gone yeah <laughs> this how face unlock should work here yeah it is working yeah it's fine uh, i think i have explained everything here uh, now currently that time is around 4:54 am here uh, i done uh, everything for you guys i even given the download link in the uh, whatsapp group because it was directly available to download there was no any website or anything like that.